Alright, y'all. Um, I'm not really gonna do my intro. I'm dealing with some heavier topics. Uh, I'm a football player. I've been a football fan my whole life. This isn't even just a situation that is only because of football, only pertain to football. Everybody can learn a lesson out of these two situations. Trust me, you don't have to be a football player. You don't have to be a football fan at all to get the message that I'm about to tell y'all and the lesson in these situations. There's a chance you might've heard about the Henry Rugg situation. He's the wide, he was the wide receiver of the uh, Las Vegas Raiders football team, right? Basically, if you haven't heard about the uh, Henry Rugg situation, was intoxicated at around three in the morning, intoxicated him and his girlfriend. Henry got behind a wheel, he was going 156 miles per hour and crashed into somebody else. Um, him and his girlfriend were fine, but the person that he ended up crashing to, a car caught on fire. Um, they couldn't be saved, and yeah, they ended up passing away. Obviously, he's been released from the team. You know, he's been booked in the jail. Uh, he's being charged with deadly DUI, as he should be. I don't understand these. I don't understand it. I really don't. You have millions and millions and millions of dollars. You got millions of dollars at millions, right? A Uber is twenty dollars, fifty dollars at the most, right? You have a mil eleven million dollars, and you tell me you can't buy an Uber, man? It's so selfish. Like, please, man, please, don't drink and drive, man. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Cause not only is you putting yourself at risk, you're putting everyone else on the road at risk. Because, like, you're not, you're not obviously, you're under the influence. It's a reason why. It's illegal. It's the reason why you're not allowed to do that shit. Don't do it. Don't do it. And he's lucky that he he luck he's lucky to even leave that situation with his life. Honestly, I saw a comment. the The car he was driving, a 2020 Corvette, right? The engines are in the back. If he had ran into that lady, ran into that uh, other person's car, the engine was in the front of the car going 156 miles per hour. They both would have blown up. He would have died too. His life is over. You know, he's, he's facing 20 years in prison. His football career is over. And I honestly, at least in this moment, I don't see him recover from this situation at all. At this point, you know, you're a murderer. You kill somebody. Even, even though it wasn't on purpose, you still kill somebody because you drank, you decided to get on the road. And that's what happened. So he killed somebody. Um, I don't know. His money going to be gone from lawyer fees and... You know, it's gonna go to the victim's family, all that. So, it's. I think it's a, a good assumption to say that his life is probably over after this situation. Um, on the other hand, we got Adam Anderson. Um, I saw this the story today. Um, linebacker at Georgia. Um, probably gonna be a NF or before this happened, out of path to the NFL, right? He got in. Uh, he got suspended from the team for sexually assaulting, you know, for, I'm not going to say it, but you feel me? He, 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 a woman, or she was under the influence, took her home. When she wakes up, dude's on top of her and she said she didn't consent to it. So what do both of these situations, what are, what are these, what are the lessons you can take from both of these situations, man? You don't look. We both know that both these dudes had something going for themselves. You feel me? Henry Ruggs, NFL receiver, NFL player, up and coming NFL player, millionaire, 22 years old, right? Adam Anderson, linebacker, University of Georgia, going to be an NFL player, going to make a million dollars, right? Careers are done because of poor decisions made in one moment, man. All it takes is one, one stupid choice, one wrong decision, and your life can change forever. All Henry Ruggs had to do, call an Uber, call a Lyft, you know, tell somebody, hey man, like I'm not, I, I can't drive, come pick me up. Somebody else would have had his car delivered to his, his, his house, you feel me? And in the case of Mr. A Adam Anderson, bro, you got you with a girl, man. Dude, you know she you know she's a she's not there hundred percent, man. Leave her alone. You feel me? You know 
you know you were at, you know you got shit going off. Leave her alone. And you don't even have to be you don't even have to have some going for yourself. You don't have to be a potential NFL player. You don't have to have whatever. The point of the video is just to make smart decisions because your actions have consequences. Your actions have consequences. Uh, your actions have consequences. It doesn't even have to be only for yourself, but your your actions have consequences for also people around you, people surround people around you. Henry Ruggs's actions of him getting drunk, getting on the road, had consequences for a lady and her dog that ended up passing away because of what Henry did. Adams, his his actions had consequences not only for the young woman that was unfortunately assaulted. Um, I don't know why I say it like that. Assaulted. Assaulted. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. Um, but on the less important side, the football team is going to be missing a player um, because of him wanting to do some dumb shit. You feel me? Like, <sighs> this isn't even going to be that long of a video. Basically, y'all, uh, men, guys, girls, you feel me? Are, it's so important, especially these are young people. These are got people our age. Them, you feel me? Most of the people watching, you know, 18, 19, 20, whatever. These are people in our age group. Um, y'all gotta be careful, bro. Not even careful of things like this, but you have to know, you have to really be aware and cognizant of the decisions you're making, man. All it takes is one wrong decision, one bad decision, and your life can flip. Really be aware man be aware know yourself stay in the moment and really it's, it's, it's a skill it's almost a skill but you have to be present and aware self-aware in the moment okay i don't know what was going on in henry ruggs's head for him to actually feel like he was okay enough to get behind the wheel that's not he, he was not aware in that moment zero self-awareness he was not aware in that moment to know that he wasn't good to drive adam i don't he was not aware in the moment to know that it's probably not a good idea with a girl that's not there you feel me you gotta be aware of the situation any situation you in man you gotta be aware you have to you have to you gotta be aware to make the best decision you can in that moment man especially i mean anybody can but especially if you got something going on for yourself because all of that shit can be gone like this like this like that you feel me but i don't want to i don't i'm not gonna make this video too long i'm i'm upset uh i am the shit sucks because not only is their career, not only are their careers over, but a woman lost her life and another woman's life will forever be changed because of the actions of these two young men. So your actions have consequences, y'all. Learn how to, your actions, your decisions, they have consequences, not only for yourself, but for other people around you. Make sure you making the best actions you're making the best decisions at all times i know it's not it's hard it's you're not always gonna make the best decisions especially as young people but you need to be more aware and you need to understand that not everything you not be so selfish you feel me everything you do affects other people as well you feel me whether you realize it or not just be aware of it all right so yeah quick little upload we almost at 800 give me there Love y'all. Road to 1K. Go ahead before the end of the year. Love y'all. Clip here. Peace.